Dude, the beard looks awesome, by the way. Thank you very much. What, what's this for? Is this a current role you're doing right now, or is this? I'm playing Macbeth um, on stage at the Trafalgar Studios in London's glittering West End. Nice, nice. So yeah, you, you get nice. to do the, the best of both worlds. You get to do a Danny Boyle film and then go back into London and do Shakespeare. Yeah, exactly. I'm really lucky. I'm a very lucky dude. <laughs> I gotta say, first of all, I'm a big fan of your work. We've talked before, but uh, stepping into this territory with Danny Boyle, what was it like for you? I know he, he's got such a unique way of filming. What mm. was it like stepping into this world with him? Frenetic and fast and energetic and exciting, uh, full of enthusiasm. Uh, that's just, those are just words you could use to describe him, uh, but his sets are an extension of him. And um, uh, that excitement and enthusiasm gets transmitted to all the actors and all the, the cast, uh, all the crew, um, to create a real sort of whirlwind kind of set that moves quickly, we shoot a lot, and um, and we don't really stop moving uh, all day. It's it's quite it's quite an exciting place to be working on a Danny Ball set. How much do you guys shoot? I mean, the, usually with the film, you, you know, have two or three takes, depending uh, on the director. What is he like? What is he a, just have cameras all around, or how does he do it? Uh, he needs to shoot a lot. He wants to shoot a lot. He wanted to shoot a lot on this anyway, but then this movie's kind of unique in that, you know, you see the same scene maybe three or four times, but from different points of view or different versions of reality, and. Um, as such, he needed to shoot them new each time. He couldn't just like put a slightly different angle or put a filter on it and make it look a tiny bit different. He had to shoot the scenes three or four times. So he had a lot more stuff to get. So he gets a lot of stuff. But he's, he's you know, he's a man who's in charge of his craft. He he can get a lot more than than your than your average guy. Do you know what I mean? Than your average director in a day. Now I, I read that there was an interesting uh, uh, audition process. So what was it like? What did he have you do? Um, it was just reading this scene and yeah, no, it was. I mean, it was, it was lovely. It was, oh, okay. and I knew immediately that I was desperate to work with him from that audition um, because I thought. He's great. He's just amazing with actors. Because, you know, that's one of the things that people talk about his visual style, his editing style, his musical style, his boldness, his braveness, uh, his diversity. Nobody ever really talks about how good he is with actors. And he is. He's great with us guys. Uh, but not, sadly, the audition was just fairly normal. I came in, had a coffee, read it two or three times, then I went home, and that was it. See, so never believe what you read. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, everyone's talking about X Men. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, congratulations on your success. And I thank can't you. wait to see you do that role, man. Again. Ah, oh, dude, thanks very much. I'm looking forward to doing it myself. So thank you.